Hi everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I want to show you how to make a spooky glam wreath for Halloween using supplies from the Dollar Tree as well as give you some Halloween decor ideas using supplies and decor from the Dollar Tree. To make this wreath, I used a 12 inch wire wreath form from the Dollar Tree, as well as various items from the Dollar Tree's Halloween section, like little spiders, bats, pumpkins, six inch wide organza ribbon, and I'm using some scissors as well. So this ribbon is six inches wide, it's an organza sort of fabric, and it had some spider webs on it. I loved the black and the gold, and that sparked my idea to make more of a glamorous but spooky wreath for Halloween. So first just cut your wide ribbon into approximately six inch long sections. The measurement doesn't have to be really exact, so you can just cut one and then use that as a template to cut the rest of your pieces out. So I just made, I. So I just made sure I had eight of these pieces per section of this wreath. You can see there's sections in between the horizontal wire spots. So I just wanted to make sure I had eight pieces of ribbon for each section. Now I'm just going to tie these pieces of ribbon around the highest wire here which is the second one from the center and I'm just using a regular knot to tie them around. Just make sure that you fold them pretty much in half before you tie them around just like this. So this is a rag wreath method. I have used this method before to make more of a shabby chic Christmas wreath and I will leave a link to that style of wreath in the description box below. Same basic technique except for I use more ties and it looks completely different because I use drop cloth. I really like this method with the ribbon too and I really like how full the wreath looks at the end and I only tied the ribbon onto that second from the inside wire. And this is how the front and the back looks of the wreath and as you can see it looks pretty full and again I used eight pieces of ribbon per section. So I used five rolls of ribbon all together. And then when you're finished doing that just fluff out all the pieces. I think this little candle from the Dollar Tree looks cute in the middle so that could be an option but I decided to use this pumpkin that I found at the Dollar Tree because it has that black and gold and spider theme that I was going for this spooky glam wreath. So I just applied a ton of glue to the wire part of the base of this wreath and then I just held that pumpkin there for a really long time to make sure that it was nice and secure. And then I took some of these faux tarantulas and I put some glue gun glue on those as well and just put them in various spots around the wreath. I love how this wreath is all black and gold so from afar it just looks like a glamorous wreath and then putting all these Halloween elements in is really kind of a fun surprise when you look up close. I found these flowers from the Dollar Tree last year, but I noticed they still had them this year. They're just black roses with some spider detail in them. So I'm just cutting them off of the bunch with some wire cutters and then I'm glue gunning them around the pumpkin at the base of this wreath. So I used about five of these flowers and then I also used some of the little spiders from this bunch and I put them in the wreath as well. I noticed if I stuck them into the ribbon at the base of the wreath, I didn't even need to glue gun them in. So you could glue gun them in if you want them to be more secure, but I found they're quite secure when I just push them into the wreath just like this. So I actually didn't end up using those clip-on bats for this wreath, I used them somewhere else, but they would also work in this design as well. And I loved the clips, you could just clip them right into the wreath, you wouldn't have to glue gun them or anything. So I'm just taking some of the spiders from that bunch and putting them on top of the wreath just like this. And that's it. That is this spooky glam wreath and it was really, really quick to create. It probably only took me about 20 minutes and I really love how it turned out. I don't do a ton of decor for Halloween usually and we don't like really, really scary decor for the kids. So I just like this little bit spooky decor with the spiders and the gold and the black. And I decided to put this wreath at the front of my studio, my work studio, because I love how it looked against the black door. I also love that my studio has this overgrown kind Kind of messy spooky look anyway because I have these big lilac trees here so my little girls helped me decorate the front of my work studio a little bit we put 
some faux cobwebs on the lilac bushes from the Dollar Tree. We put the wreath on the door and you might remember the little wood lanterns that I made a couple weeks ago. I'll leave a DIY for those. In the description box below, we just put some more of those faux tarantulas, those light up LED candles from the Dollar Tree, as well as some of the extra black flowers and a string of LED twinkle lights I found at the Dollar Tree as well to make them look a little more spooky. I found this garland at the Dollar Tree last year and one of my girls just draped it in the lilac trees and that gives the trees a little bit of a Halloween look. And the cobwebs had some little fake plastic spiders on them as well and that again was another piece from the Dollar Tree. So for less than $20, we made the front of my work studio look super creepy. I love the wreath. I love the little bits of spooky but not too spooky Halloween decor. And I hope you liked it as well. If you like this spooky glam look for Halloween, you might like my decor ideas from last year. They also used items from the dollar store and I will leave a link to that video in the description box below as well. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more DIY and decor ideas. Bye.